Okay, we're here with the Ramage producer suite. We're going to be looking at how to change the bin configuration for your auto loader. What you'll need to do first, open up Ramage System Manager. And you see one of my auto loaders here is the 8100. Let's click on 8100 settings. Uh, the type of system you have will always have this same thing a small picture of the system. Underneath it will be Ramage 8100, which could be an 82, 72, 5400. Uh, basically, whatever your all loader is, it will have the settings button underneath. Click this. Now, you can't make any changes to the bin settings without pausing production first. So make sure you're not running any jobs while you need to do this. Click the pause button up here. They have an extra pause button uh, conveniently located there. So, if you look at my setup here, media type is set to CDR. So that means I'm loading only CDs into this system. Bin 1 is set to input. Bin 2 is input output. Bin 3 is input output. Bin 4 is output. And then you can see my mail slot is for rejects only. So I have all the rejects going out the side mail slot. Uh, this is basically a 300 disk setup. I can load 100 disks into bin 1, 2, and 3, walk away, and it's CDs only, and uh, I'll walk away and I'll have 300 disks done when, when it's finished. You can change this media type, only one media type at a time with this particular setup. So CD, DVD, dual air. Now if I want to do both CDs and DVDs or multiple media types in my auto loader, you choose combination. And now you need to specify the media type of each bin. So bin 1 I would make CD. Bin 2 would be DVD input. So I'll, bin 3 and 4 I can leave as outputs and then mail slot would still say reject so I can have a hundred CDs hundred DVDs and get you know a hundred of each output here uh, so you can't designate you know DVD output uh, so all the good discs are gonna go into the output bins mixed uh, but this would be how you would set up you know multiple discs now if you wanted to do you could do DVD dual layer into bin 3 this limits your output to only a hundred but then you can have three types of, of media being picked uh, and those jobs could run concurrently so you can have one CD job, a DVD job, and a dual layer job all running at the same time. Uh, so that's your, your combo setup. I'm just going to put mine back how I had it with CDR only. Just if you need maximum volume with one media type, this is the way to go right here. Uh, after you're finished loading your bins or, or anytime you unload and reload the bins, you want to click that reset input bins button and click OK there. Yes, it takes some time to, to check. And that just tells it it'll, the system will go back, check how many disks are in each bin, and reset the count so it knows it has a full load of disks again. Click OK here. And uh, this version actually goes ahead and restarts your production server for you. So that's kind of nice. Otherwise, you just want to make sure uh, that production server doesn't have that exclamation mark and that it shows it started. So that's the... Uh, setting the bins on the uh, Ramage Systems Producer Suite.